Fucking zooming now. Huh. This is not considered part of the, the, the sluice works now, I guess. Maybe no dogs. Oh, sweet, it was worth it. Oh. It wasn't worth it. Hell yeah, still dogs. Still several dogs. Fighting dogs, no, no, no. Well, we just did depths in reverse. <laughs> and now we can go into lower undead perk. Sweet, actually worked. Ooh, item. Okay, nothing's even following us. Uh, do I have the thing to open this? Oh! Thief. Get out of here. Well, I don't know where the thing we were supposed to fight in the depths is. <laughs> Just not there. Isn't the merchant here? No, of course not. But this might be a shortcut back to Firelink? Yeah, it is. Sweet. Okay, now we have an easy way to get back into depths if we want it. And lower undead berg. We just unlocked two hopefully important places. That's it for here, okay. So let's check out the Berg. Uh. I think we're like, oh yeah, we're like right below the Capra boss as well. So we can go check that out. Oh my god, is it just a, an empty run up to the Capra? Oh. oh my god, is it an actual boss? We can do a boss fight? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Four for four on no bosses. There we go, this item's gonna be a game changer. Yep. Hello. Is she just a moss salesman? She does sell the purging stones though. I'll take these, thank you. Hmm. We did Capra, woo. <laughs> ah. They're breaking out. Oh, beautiful. Mwah. Thank you for your armor. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> That's annoying. Okay, don't crash me again, please, item. It wasn't even that good. Why would that crash me? Damn you. Huh. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> That's cool that you fight him in here though. Like, on the streets. Oh my god, that was lucky. Although it feels like if you like get caught up, like get cornered down here, you might be kind of fucked. 
Oh, that's not gonna hit. Ah! <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look at the little fuck wall. <sighs> oh, what? A one shot. We do have the bonfire right there, though, which is kind of nice. Holy shit, that was so funny. <laughs> Uh, it's just, it's just so loud. I love. I'm so sad. Oh, where is he gone? Oh, that sucks. It's another crash. <laughs> Real sick of your shit, daughters of Ash. Just, just instantly crashed there. Oh, yeah, a pyromancy flame. Thanks. Does he have anything? He does. I don't think I'm gonna use any pyromancy. Thanks, though. Oh, look, it's the trader guy. Hello. Hi, Shumai. Hello. Do you have anything good? Nothing that I know. He's got some boss stuff. That's pretty cool. But no, I'm good. Thanks. Well, that is a shit. See ya. I know we were in the middle of doing the Capra Demon, but I want to go buy a ring that I recently discovered where it is. So I'm going to go get it. Okay, so I had to rejoin the Cat Covenant. Just making sure these guys aren't gonna come over. No. Okay. So now... Yeah. Shit, it was the, the bodyguard I had to talk to, who is now in Blight Town. <laughs> so I think I'm still gonna go there. It's not It's not gonna be as fast as I wanted it to be. Okay, supposedly Shiva is, or the, the merchant is supposed to just be at the bottom of Blight Town. I couldn't find them, even though they've disappeared from the original place. So, just gonna cheat it in. Oh look, we have three of them now because because <laughs> I fucked up. But yeah, now we can ninja flip. Yay! <laughs> I would have bought it. I don't I don't know where the the merchant is. But yeah, now we can now we can ninja roll. Which means now we're gonna go back to the Capra demon. Okay, so theoretically this should be where the the Capra's demon's gone now. Oh. <laughs> Oh sweet, it stays as the Capricious Thrall as well. Ow. Apparently this is a dangerous place to fight because he can knock you off pretty easily. Don't know when he's gonna like do an explosion attack. But I still do a lot of damage to him at least. Oh, I thought that would be an explosion. Yeah, look at my damage, jeez. <laughs> Does he telegraph explosions? That's probably an explosion, right? Yes, okay. Oh, what? <laughs> Just one shot me. Ugh. I've got to go track him down again. <sighs> yeah, I think this should be the next spot that he spawns at. There he is. Here we go. Yay. You may warp at bonfires as long as you possess the spark. So he's got the chthonic spark. Hooray. 
Now we just got to not lose that. So that... So he is kind of like the Ornstein Smaug of this game. Like, ideally you should be killing him very early on. But, like, it's not surprising if you end up having to fight him or the fourth location is in the uh, Duke's Archives prison. So theoretically that's opened up a bunch more areas for us. Let's go back to Firelink probably. And I think we might have actually just unlocked like every bonfire in the game. If we go to Warp now, we can go to loads of different places. So I think like every major area you can now Warp to, which is pretty cool. And we've also got just enough souls for... Are we still doing Endurance? Maybe a little bit more health. Yeah. Okay, so now let's try heading back down to the Bed of Chaos kind of area. Is there anywhere closer? Nope, we still have to go to the nursery. So we still have to do the whole... The whole, like, um, Isolith area run again. Okay, I'm assuming there's still nothing in this room. Nope. Okay, we continue on towards Centipede. I totally forgot I had the shortcut. I could have taken the elevator. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I just did the whole run. Uh, okay, there's still no fog wall here. I'm not... Still not sure where I'm supposed to go. We'll go back out as far as we can to Isolith. Okay, still, still don't know how Isolith works, apparently. I have no idea how to do the Isolith bit. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to finish this fucking mod, but it is so fucking hard. Ugh. I don't think I can even warp back to the DLC. Like, to do DLC, I have to do the warp all over again. Jesus Christ. I guess we did want to try and see if, like, the other pendant would let us into the, the alternate DLC, so I guess, like, this kind of works. Still, still pretty annoying, but... Maybe it'll be a blessing in disguise. Holy shit, it actually worked. I actually got the alternate DLC. Amazing. This has potentially opened up a whole bunch more stuff that I don't really want to do. <laughs> I think I have to do this boss again. Oh no. Maybe that's why I couldn't warp to the DLC, because... By trading the pendant, I started the other DLC. Doesn't look like there's a boss here, though. I may have fucked things up. <laughs> yeah, still can't warp to that, that other bonfire. Which is very strange. And does does she recognize me? No. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, just gotta run through now. We should have the shortcut. Okay, Artorias, I'm back, but this time, I ninja roll. Let's go, bitch. Yeah! Look how speedy I am now. My ow. Look at my iframes. So many of them. Oh. Oh, I just keep getting hit by that one. Oh, I feel like he's going off to go explode. No, he's, he's okay. Holy shit. Totally misrolled that. Oh, now he's doing it, right? Yes. So we just attack him a bunch here. I think I staggered him out a bit. I did basically kill myself to do it. Yep. Fucking Artorias. Punished. Fuck. Punished. Yeah. Suck it, Artorias, you massive bitch. Covenant of Artorias. Yes. Whoa. Thank you for the bonfire. Um, I think I'm just gonna not do the rest of the DLC. <laughs> Don't know if there's much reason to do it. 
Maybe I should just run ahead in there. Maybe. Let's use some souls, I guess. I guess we could go see Go real quick. Or whatever's up here. I don't have the crest key, but the door might just be open. No, it is not. So we're not seeing Go. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to speed run through the DLC until my first death. Uh, as soon as I'm dead, I'm done with the DLC. Unless I see something really cool that I want to do. Speedruns, remember everybody? Send a township. Because I don't think there's anything else, like, that we need. Oh, fuck. That we need in the DLC. I think it was just Covenant of Artorias that we really needed. Okay, we're done with the DLC. <laughs> I mean, until Artorias' drop, it was exactly the same as regular DLC. I know there's a slightly different boss fight, but I'm, I'm over it. Okay, unfortunately, immediately after getting our, our ninja, uh, ninja flip ring, gotta trade it out for Covenant of Artorias. <laughs> so let's go do Four Kings, which theoretically will work. Okay, so I don't even remember where we got Key to the Seal from, but we do have it. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck me! That's not even a mod issue, but oh my god. If I quit out, it'll put me in a better spot. Jesus Christ. Oh. It did actually get me out, like I'm like 69ing this this guy, but yeah, we're free. Okay, let's drain the swamp. <laughs> okay, great. Oh, wyverns! Uh, maybe we can just go right to the Four Kings. And if I need items, I'll come back for them later. <laughs> Scary just came for me. Okay, we can go in. I can do this jump now. Oh, bam! The abyss, I'm here. Bring it on. King who? <laughs> oh god, do you think you have to fight like all, like each king individually? Oh fuck. Oh, okay, so I'm only supposed to actually- ow. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, it looks like they're all here, but maybe you only, like, fight one of them at a time. In which case, that would work cool, like, you don't have to time it properly. That'd be okay. Okay, which one are we fighting, though? That one. Fuck. It's very disconcerting having the other ones around, too. Oh no, not that one. Oh, okay. Theoretically, I'm okay as long as he never does a grab. Or an explosion. Oh, the other one's attacking now! Oh my god! This was, like, I didn't even kill the other one, he just backed off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's not fun. Oh no, the explosion. Ow. Oh, that was probably greedy. Oh, maybe I could have killed him there. Oh my god. King Ganzear is here now. Fuck. <laughs> this is so hard. Get out of here. Yeah, fuck the four kings. <sighs> I think they did work like a timer. Yay. Like if you... Oh, thanks. If you, um... Killed them fast enough, then you... Like, I don't know, maybe the other ones would have come back at the end. But this one, like, I killed the first one really fast. And then he was just gone for the second bit. Okay, so I just have Isolith, Isolith left to figure out. I don't know how. Okay, all I can think of to do is to open this shortcut. 
which needs 30 humanity, which amazingly I had exactly 30 humanity, so I'm going to offer her humanity one at a time to open up this shortcut. There we go, number 30. I had to legit do all 30 of those one by one. Yay, thanks. So hopefully that will open if I like reload. Or it'll just just crash. Yeah, that <laughs> that works too. Okay, so theoretically this should open now. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, does it? No. I waste a lot of time doing that. <laughs> How the fuck does Isolith work? Yeah, it says I'm Chaos Servant plus two, but this still doesn't open. Okay, I'm back up at the, the Guinevere door to see if maybe I can get in now. Oh, you can just open it. Oh, it's locked. I'm really just running out of ideas now of, like, anything to do, so I'm gonna head down to where Gwendolyn supposedly is. And maybe I can do something there? Here we go, here's the Dark Moon Tomb. I haven't been down here yet, there's an item. I can light my bonfire. And then maybe this is just an illusory wall and we go through it? <laughs> like, even with the wiki, this is almost impossible. Like... Part of the walkthrough is like, do this thing after seeing Guinevere. I'm like, okay, how do I get to Guinevere? So I go up there and the door is locked. Okay, how do I unlock the door? You get this key from defeating Gwendolyn. And then like that page just doesn't mention how to get to Gwendolyn. So I have to go look up something else now. I had to go on the Reddit to find a separate comment. Not even by the mod maker, just by somebody. You have to go get the Dark Moon Seance Ring from New Londo Ruins. Great. Hey look, there it is. That was the first item I tried in New London Ruins, amazing. Cold Tearstone Ring, that might be for Lava, actually. Holy shit. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have skipped so much here. Nice Ember, very good. Okay, so theoretically now, the Sunlight Tomb. If I equip... Oh, let's see what this one does. Particularly resistance against fire, so I might be able to use it in Isolith. But if we wear this, that's pretty cool. I like that. Can I stick my other ring back on? It doesn't just like kill me in here. <laughs> okay. Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun. Cast aside thine eye, hear the voice of mine self, Windelin, and kneel before me. What the fuck? It's, that's not in regular Dark Souls, is it? I'm not kneeling, I'm gonna kill him. What foolishness. This must be unused dialogue. Why trespasseth upon the great lord's tomb? Whilst thou art a disciple of the Dark Sun. I'm not. Daughter of Chaos. Mark the words of mine self. Gwendolyn. Thou shalt not go unpunished. Wow, that was really cool. Hey, Gwendolyn. Time for me to struggle. He's not attacking. Oh, there he is. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, goodness. I swear you, you can hide from that one in Remastered. Let's get some hits here. Yikes, he has a lot of health. Yeah, this might take a while. You've probably seen Gwendolyn fight before, though. Oops. Ah, shit. 
Maybe it's been altered in the mod that you can't dodge that that one. You have to actually like actually dodge it. Oh my god, he actually teleports backwards. How cool. One more. Yes. An eternal curse upon thee. Rude. Oh, there's another bug gate there. <gasps> Key to the sun chamber. So that opens a... That will give us souls, right? <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> One level. Let's level and then we'll see what's behind that. That fog wall. I love how it doesn't actually reach the top. So we could have a boss back here. It doesn't even reach the sides. Sealed by holy light. Okay, I think that means we probably have to go kill Guinevere now. So let's try that. Okay, so now if we go up here, we can open it up. And is she there? <gasps> She's not there. It was an all, all, all an illusion. <laughs> And then it triggers to dark, but I've killed Gwendolyn, so he doesn't talk. It just goes dark, that's pretty funny. Oh, it just teleported me straight ahead. It wouldn't be a mimic. Sunlight blade, very nice. Okay, so now, theoretically, we should be able to go open... Uh, go through that other fog gate, so let's go back. Oh. That's kind of rude. Wow, if I hadn't rested here, I could have uh, warped. Nice. That's really weird. Wonder if we can warp from Gwendolyn's bonfire? No. Maybe, like, all of Anne Orlando's cut off now? I, we can still warp to these places, we just can't warp out. Oh, hello. Is this the Firekeeper, maybe? Just looks like a Dark Wraith. Yeah, it's a Dark Wraith. Oh, fuck. Eh. <laughs> the Forsaken Key. Woohoo. Oh, it looks its hair go. What is that key? Forsaken. Opens the cell in the West Asylum Wing. I think I know where that is. Oh. Interesting. How did you get here? So maybe we can go through here? We might have to go to the Asylum first. Oh no, we can go in. <gasps> Ow. Oh my god, it's Jar Eel. Jar Eel is a... Oh my god, he's actually really tough. Is a cut boss from Dark Souls. He was, I believe, originally supposed to be the Four Kings fight. But he never made it to the full game, but all of his data is still in there. This is the first time I've ever been able to fight Jariel. You can... Like, you could, you could mod him in before. Like, I've seen footage of him before. But that's awesome that he is added to this. Oh, the Dark Wraith respawns for some reason. <laughs> We can probably scoot past him and just go right to Jar Eel. Ow. Hey, Jar Eel on uh, half health? That will heal. Okay, Jar Eel. I don't know if we have to go to Asylum first, possibly. Look at how fast. Like, he's a little bit janky because he's cut, obviously. Holy shit. Yeah, he has a lot of health. He's gonna be like Artorius, I think. We just kinda like... Oh my god, we can stagger him. We just kinda roll around him a lot. Don't get locked into long animations, which my weapon's all about. That's kind of spooky. Whoa, he missed me. 
Ah, the kick. It's like fucking gun deer. I can never avoid that kick. Oh my god. Shit. He's tough, holy crap. Basically don't get hit. That's that's how you beat him. He's a pretty sweet boss, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Soul of Jar Eel and the Ashen Ring. Wow. That's so cool. I love that Jar Eel's back in here. Here's the Ashen Ring. It's an ash-covered ring recovered by Gwyn's nameless firstborn from the site where his father linked the flame and rekindled the Age of Fire. It's cold and perilous and heavy with old burdens. Why would anyone want it? Who knows? Man, there's no other items in here. I don't think the chest's empty. And there's nothing down the sides. Nope. 